Challenges on the horizon for borrowers at clearing banks as the economy continues to chart unknown territory brought on by the global COVID-19 health pandemic. Here's Lloyd Allen. The state of commercial banks in the country remains hanging in the balance, this all as a result of the economic fallout surfacing from COVID-19. According to Gowan Bo, Chief Financial Officer at Fidelity Bank, the conversation of how banks respond to the effects of COVID-19 should start with an understanding of the basics of how these facilities work. So persons like me and you who have our savings and deposit into a bank, and then persons who save money and decided to invest and take risk, meaning that no different than the business you would have, whether it's a, a sales store, jewelry store, etc., you put money into it and you expect to make a return. Those two stakeholders older groups put money together and the management team of the bank and staff then lend it to borrowers. While there are challenges with similar banks around the world absorbing the economic blow from COVID-19, there is a silver lining among local operations. So the financial crisis that took place in 2007 and 8 in North America and Europe, a lot of those financial institutions were not as well capitalized and so when losses started coming in, they didn't have the ability to withstand those losses and so you had a lot of failures in the banking institutions and you had a number of government bailouts across the world. The Bahamas didn't have that. Equally going into COVID-19, um, not to use numbers and, and be above persons, but the central bank requires that based on the assets you have and the risks associated with it, they want you to have at least 14% of that. Despite this, Bo says the operations of banks around the nation are compelled to adjust, specifically to protect depositors and increase scrutiny on borrowers. Lending is probably going to be more challenged because... Ultimately, what you're looking at, so Central Bank published the statistics about two weeks ago, $1.8 billion in loan deferral. Now, if you think about that, that is not, I think that, that, that presents on the surface a very bleak picture. The expectation and the prayer is that that does not all turn into uncollectible loans. It just means the, it gives you an understanding of the, the volume and quantum of persons that were unable to make loan payments during that period. Part two in this series on the state of commercial banks next week on Market Insider. Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.